It's nine o'clock in the morning, we just start to brew a sugar loaf. The first thing we do is measure out the grain. It's important that we weigh the grain to the exact recipe every time to ensure the flavour, colour and ABV is consistent. After mashing it now, I'll leave it settle for an hour and a half and then I'll run it through then into the copper. The copper is where the water boils. It works similar to an everyday kettle. Originally it would have been made from copper, which is where the name came from. So with, with the bigger breweries, they saw like automated or even with a lot of the micro breweries, they got hoppers which they stick the grain straight into the hopper and the water then comes through the mixes. But all this is done by hand. We call ourselves an artisan brewery, which means we do everything by hand. We pride ourselves on this more traditional way of brewing. I'm just checking the time zone now to make sure when we're ready to start sparging. Because after this is settled, then we'll start to sparge, run it through. So we've got the water sparging through, so it goes through the bed. Sparging is a step at the end of the mashing process. Hot water is filtered through the grain to extract the sweet liquid we call wort. Right, what we're doing now is emptying the mash and all the spent grain will go to a local farm where it'll be fed to the animals. We try to keep our waste to a minimum and anything that can't be reused goes to a recycling plant. The next step in the process is to wait for the water to boil in the copper. So now the beer has reached its boiling temperature, we're adding the first lot of hops to it. We heat the liquid to just, a, just over 100 degrees, so it gets to a rolling boil. And at that point, we add the first lot of hops. A hop is a female flower, used as a stabilizing agent for flavor and bitterness. We use a variety of different hops, depending on the ale. It's important that we keep the beer at a constant temperature, around 20 degrees centigrade. If it gets hotter than this, it can cause a change in the flavour and if it gets colder than 20 degrees, it can stop fermentation. What I'm doing now is take a sample to test the opening gravity. Opening gravity is measured with a hydrometer. We use it to calculate the ABV content of the beer. The gravity drops as the yeast converts the sugar into alcohol. We then use a simple equation to calculate the alcohol content of the beers. Right, that's it now. It's all finished. The beer's all ready in the fermenter. They will leave it overnight now to ferment and test it in the morning. That's all's left to do is clean up and we're all done. It's now five days later. The beer's been fermenting for three and it's had two days cooling. We're now ready to rack the beer off into casks and bottles. This is a sterilising solution in here. We have to sterilise them to make sure that there's no contamination gets into the beer. This is one of the most time consuming parts of the process. Today we are filling a thousand bottles of sugar loaf, which will take up to eight hours. Just like the brewing, the bottle cleaning and the filling, this is all completed by hand. After we finish capping all these bottles, they get moved into a warmer part of the brewery to condition for at least 14 days. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed a little insight into what we do here at Tudor Brewery.